This episode of Pixels on Info is brought to you by Ramp Chump, Unicorns, Unoob.net, and Planties. Coming up, we're going to show you the new version of Beatmaker. We're going to answer your YouTube questions, and if you stick around long enough, you'll find out how to make your samples into custom Beatmaker kits. All this and more on this episode of Pixel.info. Stick around and watch it. Sponsored by YouNoob.net, the newbie network. Music on Pixel.info is brought to you by Akin. Guys, we gotta go to the fair. No, man, that shit ended like three months ago. Don't worry, dude. There's an app for that. Not jumping in. Featuring Diggy. Sugar. Fuzzy Dice, Unicorn, What? Ninja, Alien, What do you think? Flick that with the finger. Now on iTunes Store. <laughs> Win prize, fun for the whole family. Yeah! Hey, what's up? Welcome to Pixel.info, the show that takes a look at multimedia production workflows. I'm your host, Akin. And today's YouTube comment comes from Tubby McTubster and Tubby writes, I'm trying to drag songs into the kit thing with my iTunes and it won't let me. Is this supposed to be a sample or something? Sad face. All right, McTubster, that's a real good question. I'm glad you asked it because a lot of other users are having the same problems and I think I finally found a solution for that. Let's check it out. I use Waves. I use AIS. I use MP3s. <gasps> Wrong. All right, so obviously you shouldn't use MP3s for samples, but if that's all you have, here's how to do it in iTunes. Okay, so first we need to make sure your iPhone and desktop are on the same Wi-Fi network. On the iPhone, let's go to Preferences and tap Wi-Fi. Now on the desktop, go to System Preferences, Click on Network, and then Airport. In iTunes, we'll right-click on the track and select Get Info. And if you look under the Summary tab, you'll see the audio format and sample rate. Right now it's an MP3, which is bad, so let's convert it over for Beatmaker. So let's go to iTunes, Preferences, click on the Import Settings button. Now under Import Using, select AIF if you're on a Mac, and Wave if you're on a PC. And for settings, let's choose Custom. Let's choose 44 for the sample rate, 16-bit sample size, and stereo channel. Now let's hit OK. OK, now right-click on the track in iTunes and select Create AIF Version. When your auto file is ready, right-click on the file and select Show in Finder. Now let's open up Beatpack and make sure you download the latest version from Intuos website and click on the Create tab. Now all you got to do is drag the audio file over onto the Beatmaker pad. All right, when you're finished loading all your samples, click on the Generate button, and you'll get a pop-up letting you know where it saved your new drum kit. But I use MP3s. Wrong. All right, so now that you have your audio files converted, let's find out how to get them on your iPhone. All right, so in Beatmaker, tap on the Beatpack icon, 
your desktop's IP address should pop up in the list. So just tap on it and hit download. Tap on the IP address and here's all my beat kits on the desktop. So I'll pick one here and hit download. All right, now tap close, load, my content, beat pack content, pick your kit, load. Okay, now switch to play mode and there you go. Custom beat maker kits. All right, I hope that answers your question, MC Tupso. And if you haven't already, check out my custom kit by going to our website. You can also leave comments and suggestions. Definitely give us a tweet or Facebook us. We hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll see you guys next time on pixel.info. I use MP3s. But we're not recording, are we? It's like a in my mouth. <laughs> you know, when you take it over the top, that's too much, you know? Okay. <laughs> now the pressure's on. You shouldn't have told me that. All right, coming up on today's episode. <laughs> I got. Oh. Find out how to make. Ah. Uh... <laughs>